Baby, I'm home. Babe, what are you doing? Um, could you put that down? That's my files. I I don't want anyone to. Oh, so you read it, huh? Is it true what the file says? Baby, there's something you have to understand. No, 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 don't, don't be angry at me first. Wait, wait, just wait, all right? Just wait. Sit down. Baby, sit down. No, I'm gonna hurt you. Sit down. I'm gonna come over to you slowly so you don't feel afraid, alright? Let me just sit down. <sighs> yes. I'm on a covert operation. Special operation, you could say. To infiltrate and also gain information in this state. I'm not using you, baby. You might think that. I'm just using you as a pawn, or I'm just, you know, making you feel like, you know, or just making you as a god or something. No, 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 no. I'll tell you this. My love for you is much more real than my personal life. This whole life is just a facade, you know. You remember when we met in the university? Remember how I was studying and I was practicing to become what you call the best grade A student? You see, my life was just fabricated before then. I told you my story was about moving what? I came from a pretty modest family and all those stuff. I could have said I was from a very wealthy family like I was supposed to by my agency, but tell you the truth. I spoke honest to you about my personal life. I just never talked to you about my work. I could have told you I worked at something else. I could have told you about my family, where I'm from, and I did. I could have lied. The only thing I didn't say was that I was a spy. I didn't say I was in an operation. I used to be hyper-focused on the job. But now, Ever since you came into my life, I have to be honest, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. I don't know if this is something I want to keep going. You might be scared that I'm a spy, you might be also doubting my commitment to you, like I said when we first started dating I've told hundreds of lies 
so I could get by without being called as a spy. But with you, I never did lie once. But I never told you I was a spy. I never told you anything about this. Because I was scared. No, not, not that I was scared about losing my identity or get my cover blown. I'm scared that I might lose you. I know it sounds like a weird idea, I know it sounds like um, I know it sounds like a something that a spy would say to keep your mouth shut or anyone's mouth shut but it's true in a few months I'll have to go back to my old country because my time of serving is over and I'll have to report and I don't intend on going on that trip I intend on staying the only problem is I just don't know where to go I could just stay here and be assassinated either by my own country or be arrested because I was part of a covert operation in both situations I'll lose you or I could also go back to my country report to my agency but I'll never go back here again I'll lose you too so I'm in a strange spot where I don't know where to go I'm in a sp strange spot where if I do something I might lose everything and from everything I mean you because out of everything that is fake in my life my passports, my ID my background my love for you is real you're the only thing that's real to me that is not fake, that is not fabricated you're the reason I'm still right here you're the reason I haven't reported back you haven't, you're the reason why I stayed longer because if there's anything I love more in this world it's, it's not money, it's not serving, it's just you I found a purpose. I used to think I have a purpose in serving my country. And now that I think about it, I'd like to settle down. Because my priorities have changed ever since I met you. I'm sorry that I never told you about this. I was scared you might run to the police and just... and just take me in. I can keep on running away. But it hurts to know that you're the one who... the one I love is the one who... reported probably couldn't run away far, I just turned myself in. It's too painful. My plans, I don't know. I have a few. I might turn myself in this country's secret service but you have to be there for me if you want to I'll take a poly test, my detector test I'll take any tests to prove my love for you is real 
and I don't want to be a part of my country ever again. The last I reported was seven months ago, and I, I don't want that to ever happen to me or something like that. All right. I love my baby. I love you so much. So fucking much. I'm sorry that if you feel I deceived you. I just don't want to lose you. I love you, baby. I'm sorry I'm not the man you thought I am. Just know my, out of all the fake things in my life, my love for you is real. I'm sorry.